Welcome. In front of me is an Alcatel 3T10 and today I'll show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now in a moment you will see that the tablet I have right here is uh, locked and uh, this is just kind of like a showcase that you can like prove that it is locked but in your case if you're on the very first page of the setup progress through it just a little bit till the point where you need to connect to Wi-Fi and once you have done so back out back to the uh, welcome screen and hopefully this will show me that it is a locked in moment hopefully shorter moment Now, if it's not going to show me the lock in like 10 seconds, I will just ignore it and proceed with the process so I'm not wasting your time. Never mind. And this should be like shown quickly. There we go. So you can see we have the verify uh, your account. There should be also a way to verify it through pattern, which was the previous locking method, but it looks like it's not showing up here, so it's just through Google account. Uh, in any, any case, uh, if it's showing you the pin pattern password as a unlock method, uh, this will also work. It just completely get ri gets rid of this kind of page that we get right here. So anyway, let's just get to it. So like I mentioned before, you do want to connect to network right over here, find your network, connect to it, and then back out to the first page right here at which point you will select vision settings uh, talk back and you want to toggle it on and okay now this will start talking or not talk back on there we go welcome to talk back damn this talk back is a welcome little bit developmentally delayed here Oh, okay, I can't mute it and it's uh, the lowest point still uh, way too loud for me. Anyway to talk Oh boy There we go. Uh, so once you see this page right here, uh, if it's talking to you disregarded, uh, it's not very important I try to turn it off because it is uh, very distracting to me uh, But going back to the process, you'll have this page selected right here in the green outline this text uh, by default if it's selecting something else like for instance close or whatever tap on the text and it will select it and from there just draw a mirrored l like this on the screen uh, this will bring up the options right here or two options uh, so you want to double tap allow then single tap use voice command and before you shush and before you double tap on it uh we will need to give it uh, voice commands once you double tap on it. So I'm going to quickly tell you what we will be saying just so you are, you are prepared. And I'll also do it obviously on the camera so you can uh, hear it how I'm going through it and see it obviously. So when you double tap on it, you will hear a beep uh, which will signify that the device is listening to you and you want to say open Google Assistant. Afterwards, you will hear two more beeps, one that accepts your first command and second one that now Google Assistant is listening to you at which point you want to follow up by saying open YouTube so let's get into it now Error recognizing voice command. oh it was already listening without giving anything okay great I think I know what the problem might be let's try that again Open Google Assistant. Google. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. Okay. YouTube. So now we can turn it off by holding volume up and down. From there, select. Um, Pressing both volume keys for three seconds will stop. We want to select use shortcuts 
and then hold them again. And there we go, and now we can uh, have some peace and quiet. So, um, as you seen the first time around, it told me that it didn't recognize a voice input. I did mute the sound, which didn't give me the beeping noise that usually signifies that the device is now listening to my uh, to my commands. So it was a big, little bit of an oof, but once uh, I turned on the volume, uh, you could hear that you know, there was the beep and everything went smoothly. Anyway, from here, once you have your YouTube open, you want to navigate into these, the account icon. And from there, we're gonna select help and feedback. And in the describe your issue, you wanna type delete. This will bring up several suggested options. We're interested in the second one, at least second one for me right now, which is delete, disable, and manage unused apps on Android. Click on it. From there, you wanna select uh, step one under the delete apps that you installed. This will take you to the apps right there. And start off by selecting Android setup right over here. Select force stop and OK. Then go back once and scroll down to Google Play services right over here. Here you're gonna select disable, disable app and force stop. No, no. Apparently, Try for stop and oh, actually it was disabled. There we go, disable app. Okay, so you can see it's disabled right now. Or you can see it right here. Let's just select for stop again. There we go. Not sure why it gives me a little bit of a problem here, but in either case, once you have done these two things, uh, you simply want to back out. And I think we are already on the next page. So I'm going to select skip, finish. And yeah, so as you can see, we are now almost on the home screen. Whatever, let's select allow. It doesn't really matter what we select right now. There is still one last step that we need to do. There we go. Now I won't hear the annoying notifications. So uh, right now you will be spammed with notification sounds because the device is trying to connect to Google services, which Android obviously wants to constantly you know, deliver info uh, to Google. So it's uh, not very happy right now that it's not getting any kind of access to services. So it's like literally spamming us with notifications that as you can see, it has no connection to Google Play services. Completely disregard this for now, it has no meaning to us. And what you want to do is navigate into settings. From here, scroll all the way down to system, reset, factory data reset, and then select reset device and erase everything. This will go through a reset of the tablet uh, and the done through settings like we are doing right now. Uh, we'll also get rid of screen locks uh, that it were previously used as a uh, protection method on this device along with Google accounts that were logged in on this device. So the reason you wanted to do this uh, last step even though you have access to the home screen is because the device still has the Google accounts in its memory as a protection which we didn't really verify. So by doing this, this reset, it will just completely remove them and basically unlock itself. And this is the crucial last step which you want to go through. I'm not gonna go through it on the video just because it's uh, a lot of like the logo of the device on a black screen. And once that's done, uh, you're back in the setup screen. And at that point, uh, it's already finished and you can set up your device however you like. So that's kind of why I'm not gonna go through it. But with this being said, this is how you would bypass the Google verification on this device. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.